Hey, this is Tracy with Color Me This. It is Light Fast Sunday. We are going to check on my swatches. I have pulled them from my front door, which does get full sun in the early a.m. in Central Florida. We're on the Space Coast, so it's on the East Coast side. I have three swatch sheets. I have Prang. This is the 50 set. Praying with some fixative on it, the same 50 set. And then as a control group, I have 22 polychromos and 12 Derwent Lightfast. So let's see what we've got. I am just, I just have these strips taped down. I'm going to take them off. They're on with washi, so easy to remove and put back on for week two's testing. I did just pull them off now, so they did all, they did receive this morning's sun. So they've had a full seven morning of mornings worth of sun on them. This is episode 17, and I am going to do my light fast review, and I also finally got to my Brute Funer Macarin 50 set purchase that I bought on Timu. I already own a set that I bought uh, maybe 14 months ago. I bought them on AliExpress from Andesol, I think is what they're called, stationery. And we will review what my discovery was with that in a moment. So, just looking at these side by side, the colors that I expected to see some effect from the sun were affected, and I am definitely seeing more effect on the prang without any fixative. The fixative that I have is Spectra Fix. It is a natural fixative that you can use indoors or outdoors, so it's not like a chemical type fixative. And when I sprayed it, I do have one of the continuous fine mist bottles. That's what I was advised to use. And so not knowing how the fixative worked, I could very well have not put as much on as I should have. But I still am seeing very much a difference with the non-fixative side. The colors that seem to be affected the most are, of course, the pinks and purples and this peachy color. If I look really carefully, I see a little bit of a fading of the yellow and orange and even a minimal fading of like the light blue and the middle blue. And guys, this is only seven days. So this is why I'm doing this again. This test is as much for me as for anyone else so that I am not thinking I can color with just any of my sets of pencils and have the colors be true after so much time on my wall. If I choose to put them on my wall, and then again, I see a little bit of a change here with this number 39. But these colors all look pretty good. And then if we go over to our control group that we expect there to be no change, there might be, I believe all of the polys had the three stars and the light fasts all were supposed to last the longest they're supposed to last. So I expect no change for the control group for really the length of time that I would have these up for just my proof to myself that yes, if you want to do something that's going to be artwork on the wall and you want it to last a while or give it as a gift, be sure to use light fast pencils. So, very interesting. I will get this put back up for tomorrow when we'll give them another week. And we're just going to see how, probably for about a month, let's see how these colors do on the non-fixative side. And I am tempted to add another coat of fixative today. I'd like there to be no more color change with the fixative. So I might do that. So that is the update on Lightfast. And then I want to talk about these macarons. So first I'm going to show you just 
for proof that these are the same. I have both packages. I do save all my packaging, which is crazy, I know, because I lived in a trailer for seven years and I had all of this packaging underneath the bed for all of the colored pencils that I did own. I didn't have anywhere near as many as I have now. I think I, I counted 26 pencil sets and that doesn't include the small sets that you get from dollar, the Dollar Tree. So this is the new set that I've received. I bought them on Timu. I paid, there, it says partially refunded. So when you buy things from Timu, you get 30 days that you can go in every day if you want. And if there is a cheaper price for that item from that store, you can get a refund. So it's called a price adjustment. This was price adjusted. So I believe in my mind that I paid about $9.90 but what it shows here is a partial refund on my original price of $11.27, and that's pre-tax, and shipping is free. So this is the package that from Timu, and this is the package from the Anzal Stationery on AliExpress, and I think I paid under $15 from AliExpress. 14 something. So decidedly they are the same, Everything about the packaging is identical. And if you remember, or you might not remember, I actually bought two sets of pencils. I, I love my Brute Funers, so I bought a uh, 180 set of Brute Funer Black Barrel. And those were packaged without anything protecting the tin. And they came to me in with the the same big orange bag with these macarons as well as other products and that tin was mashed so i returned those i just it was the risk was too great so i have since replaced them with a different purchase of the color 180 black barrels which i believe are identical and i picked the 180 colors this time hoping one that they would be packaged better and I knew that they would be a 3.8 millimeter lead and I really wanted to get the, the fatter lead because I already have a Calor 120 set with the 3.3 millimeter lead. So I wanted to do some comparisons uh, and I wanted to stay away from the that Brute Funer tin. I was just afraid it would come to me exactly the same. And I've already done the video on how the Calor packaging was and it was great. So the first thing that caught my eye when I was going through, I, I have two swatches. I have my favorite swatch, which unfortunately had, I did this back in over a year ago where I had the giant hole punch, which is not my favorite. I have since bought a normal hole punch. So I had this bigger swatch and then I had this smaller swatch done on Bristol Smooth. So I grabbed this swatch and sat down uh, where I like to do my swatching and such is sitting down while streaming something on the TV. It is my relaxing time. I did not grab my original set, but today I have my original set because we're going to do some comparing. My original set of Brute Funer Macarons is actually has a very specific purpose, which is why I bought the second set. These little numbers are Prismacolors. So I have this giant book of Prismacolor because I wasn't ever going to own Prismacolors. So I have the Brute Funer Squares, Amazon Basics, and Macarons. And between all three sets combined, I have cataloged very carefully which ones match which Prismacolors. And I was able to match all but 13. The ones that aren't matched are like the Neons and a couple of their, their very pale ones. There's two, there's a green and a blue and another color, very soft. And those are the immediate ones that come to mind. So that's what these are for. They're for me to be able to pull out if I wanna do any tutorials. I like to do tutorials. It's kind of my favorite thing to do pe colored pencil wise. And when I do tutorials, I like to be able to do the Prismacolor tutorials. I just grab these colors uh, to replace the, the actual Prismacolors. So it was just a fun thing to do and I have stuck with it. So here's what the Brute Funers look like. 
And the very first thing I noticed, if you look carefully on this sheet, I did go in order. I have my new set in a much smaller case. They're in this small purple case. It's a 72 case. And as I was walking through the list by about the 10th one, I noticed something. This purple, which is 1422, which is this one right here. The other thing that I did, which I, I'll talk about more completely in another video, is I now, uh, because I want to have people who are learning to color see these pencils and maybe use them, I haven't figured out how that will work, I have now been adding an actual paper chart so that they go back in the right location that they need to go back in and it because they're, they're going to be pulled out by not by me I will be putting them back I just wanted it to be as quick and easy as possible to take them out and put them back so that's what these little papers are so I was busy coloring away and I hit I guess it's the 11th one all of a sudden says some weird name Psychoman that's really not a word. It's just some made up word, evidently. B0425, and it was supposed to be B1422. So the older videos, again, my set here is from about April or May of, of 2022. Here is Lilac, B1422. And the new color is Psychomen B0425. So I didn't think too much of it. And then I hit another one that changed, 1011, a peachy pink. And then all of a sudden you'll see all these little pencil marks of all of the changes. When I then took, there was a total of 24 changes from my set 14 months ago. 15 months maybe, to today, the set that I got from Timu. So then I went and looked at some videos that are from like 2021, end of 2021, and this color Wisteria was still Wisteria, and I am suspicious that all of the colors that closely mimic, this is a guess, Kind of a wild guess not wanting to spread rumors but i suspect that these colors exactly matched holbein and they needed to change the colors and the names and i will say that the colors of the barrels were slightly different this particular one i i don't know if you can see it but i can tell and and it's so faint that the psychomen is a slightly darker lavender than the lilac b1422 so i did one two three four five tests of the changes and the colors of the leads are identical and the names are all different and the numbers the numbers don't they didn't they did more than just change 1324 to 0324 they absolutely changed the number completely to something different except i don't know but for some reason 1011 cherry blossom changed to 011 pink complexion so there's some inconsistencies there and the biggest impact i think this makes for people is if they buy a set and they go online and they go to etsy and they buy a swatch chart be aware that your swatch chart could have differences in the colors and the numbers. I suspect over time, as they used up their old inventory and they switched over to the new inventory, the numbers of the changes will vary greatly from set to set. So I just want everybody to know that there are going to be some differences. So be sure to be careful when you are do, getting swatches, either the free ones or the paid for ones for the 50 macarons that there are variations in both the numbers and the names from a year ago on to today's sets that you will get. 
So that's all I've got. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them on this video. I love to get comments, love to hear from you. Please share this channel with all of your coloring friends. Uh, I will be continuing on. I'm doing swatching these days. I have the Star Joy Gold just about finished. The swatching is done. I've because of the fact that that set has pre-configured sets of three that you're supposed to be able to do blending with. I actually did some of my own blending sets, modeling those combinations after the Artex, which I just finished. And so I will share that in a different video. And then I'm moving right along because I'm trying to get all get caught up on all of my swatching. I am in the middle of the Spear Farbens. I had to place an order for Spear Farben on Etsy. I will let you guys know how that went. I bought a used set off of eBay and it was missing one color. They disclosed to me up front that one color was missing. And there were five pencils that were pretty well worn down, so I ordered six of them. And I thought that was pretty reasonable. It was two seventy dollars per pencil. Uh, for having an, a medium priced, kind of a, a little bit more than economical priced. But the price I paid was awesome. I think I paid like $25 for the 96 set. And I got 95 pencils. So I'll have that. So lots of lots of videos upcoming. I'm trying very hard to stay current with my obligations and when I tell you guys I'm going to do something it is so that I can be obligated and hold myself to it. So thank you everybody as always and I'll see you on the next one.